if you could do it all over again, just rewind the tape. I understand the public had many questions and concerns, and the press had many questions about nursing homes primarily. And I understand that they were not answered quickly enough. And they should have been prioritized and prioritized those requests sooner. I believe that. I understand the reasons. I understand that there was a lot going on. Everybody was working 24 hours a day. Everybody was overwhelmed. We were in the midst of dealing with the pandemic and trying to save lives. They were answering DOJ. Uh, and nursing homes and the hospitals were also in the middle of hell and the middle of a pandemic. And they were scrambling and they were managing the crisis. I understand all of that. But the void we created by not providing information was filled with skepticism and cynicism and conspiracy theories which furthered the confusion. Nature abhors a vacuum. So does uh, the political system. You don't provide information, something will provide the information. Most of all, the void we created allowed disinformation. And that created more anxieties for the families of loved ones. I've had hundreds of conversations. People couldn't get into the facility to see their loved one. They couldn't get them on the phone. They couldn't get staff on the phone to get answers. They were powerless. They were helpless. They were literally physically removed and isolated. Loved ones died alone. Loved ones died alone. Fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters died alone. It was horrific. It was horrific. And then the void in information that we created started misinformation, disinformation, conspiracy theories, and now people have to hear that. And they don't know what is the truth. The truth is everybody did everything they could. The truth is you had the best medical professionals and advice on the globe. The truth is it was in the middle of a terrible pandemic. The truth is COVID attacks senior citizens. The truth is, with all we know, people still die in nursing homes today. People still die every day. We're testing the staff twice a week. There's no visitation. People still die. You would have to hermetically seal a nursing home. They actually tried this in France, where the staff lived in the nursing home. Anybody can bring it in. A delivery man brings it in. The heating repair man brings it in. The food service brings it in. Staff person goes home, has meets with their family, someone in the family has it, staff member comes back, the staff member brings it in. Even when you're testing twice a week, twice a week, you'll get people who have it and you'll miss them in the twice a week. That is the reality. But not providing the information creates the void. The void allowed misinformation and conspiracy. And now people are left with the thought of, did my loved one have to die? And that is a brutal, brutal question to pose to a person. And I want everyone to know everything was done. Everything was done by the best minds in the best interest. 
Uh, and the last thing that we wanted to do, the last thing that I wanted to do was to aggravate a terrible situation. There is no good answer when you lose a loved one. I lost my father years ago. I still go through it over and over and over again. What should I have done? What could I have done? What should I have said to the doctor? Uh, I, I probably always will. Last thing I wanted to do was to aggravate that for anyone. 